check out the berry farm, our first stop in Margaret River. <laughs> All right, we're just about to leave the berry farm in Margaret River. That was a really good stop for people if you're looking for something to do with kids. It's all um, fixated around the vineyards and stuff in Margaret River, but that's a good little spot. There's playground, some farm animals and stuff like that. And I can tell you, the scones and pancakes. Delicious. Enjoy them? Yes. Shockers, that's, that, that's lunch done. Huh? It was definitely worthwhile stopping. So, uh -huh. if you're in uh, Margaret River, come to the berry farm. So, we got the van in, easy to do. So, there's plenty of big car parking here. Great little stop. On to hopefully the beach now. All right, we came for about a 40 minute drive from Margaret River down to Hamlin Bay. Um, nice and early. Got All right, we come to check out the stingrays at Hamlin Bay. You can see, uh, you see one there. Oh, Another one just there. Are they man to wave? Are they man to wave? They're awesome. Are they man to wave? They're so cool. So close. This thing is massive. We're in the deepest part of the um, cave at the minute. This is so cool. We just saw there was a um, thylacine skeleton that's been here for about three or four hundred years. That is a super cool crystal right there. Spin that crystal around. Oh, that's glowing. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Mm. Just hanging out. And you get all these shards hanging down the limestone from the roof. Isn't that cool? Only a couple of them look like crystals. All right, we have just jumped out of the Jewel Cave. That was awesome. It was um, not bad for kids. I think um, 
it varies depending on your kids whether they like the the dark and yeah. being a bit claustrophobic but um, it was a good day yeah i thought yeah, it was really, really cool, cool. Um, we got to see an old thylacine, so Tasmanian tiger that fell down one of the shafts a couple of hundred years ago. There's an old possum down there, that was cool. Uh, what do you think boys? Cool. You and liked it? He's got a Tasmanian tiger. This is my new pet. Yeah. I found him in the cave. So is it um, quite a cool thing. It was only... Yeah. Oh, 70 something. 70 bucks and it's only For two oh, 40, two minutes, 40 minutes out of Market River. Yeah. Um, but this is one to do with kids, I reckon. And yeah. our tour guide, Lily, she was awesome. She showed us all the cool stuff and how it's all sort of formed and stuff like that. So There are quite a few caves in the area. We weren't sure which one to do because we only wanted to do one. Um, but I put up a question on, on Facebook and most people said, come to this one with the kids. It's the biggest and the best. Um, so out of all of them, we chose this one. But I'm sure any of them are. Some are self-guided, some are... Uh, tour guided so it's we much better a, with it much better with a yeah, guide yeah which is a tour guide all right that's us we're going off to the pub all right we're just about to arrive in Bustleton. we're staying about 15 20 minutes out of town uh, at a place called Bass or Bassy um, it's a nice little farm stay that we found on wiki camps I think it was 28 bucks a night I think Margaret's the owner Wendy. Um, oh, Wendy's the owner. Don't don't mix that up. Um, I think she comes around at night on occasions and says good day. Um, but it's a great little farm stay. There's only ten vans or so. Um, a big green open paddock. So we're going to stay here for three nights uh, before we head on up north to Perth. So um, it's a great little free camp. Lots of good reviews on Wiki Camp. So let's check it out. I know, first night in Bustledon, what could be better than fish and chips right opposite the jetty? How good is that? Everyone happy? Yep. And check this out. Wicked, wicked sunset opposite it. Nice. It's so calm and peaceful along here. It's an awesome little spot. Check out Bustledon jetty at sunset. Awesome. All right, it's sunset now and we're walking out on the Bustleton jetty. So normally um, cost you a couple of bucks to get out here um, during the daylight hours, but after 6 p.m. it's free. Um, there's also the train that takes you right out to the end and you can do the deal with the little um, aquarium at the end, which I think is about a hundred and something bucks for a family. So we've opted to do the um, free option. It's a beautiful sunset, as you can see. So. Kids are loving it. We went down on one of the pontoons and it was nice to see the uh, the water up close and the kids are trying to look for some fish and I think we even saw a stingray. So it's a great little um, evening walk. Kids are loving it. Nope. Spin around. Check that out for a sunset. Oh. Hey Sammy. <laughs> Check out this playground. Right opposite the jetty. Kids are loving themselves sick. <laughs> you see blue? You like all the lights? Yeah. White, green, pink, blue. Check out the pirate ship. I think Harrison was up in the crow's nest. He's loving it. Check it out. Bustle and jetty. Longest jetty in Australia. And that water looks mint too.
making our way down to Yelling Up Natural Spa. It's a bit tricky. How you going, Sammy? Bit tricky on the rocks. Let's see if we can make our way down to the water. You hold the balance against the rock. It's pretty slippery and um, tricky coming along here, so. I am just trying to feed on the Yep, you're doing well. Making our way into the spa. There we go. There's a couple of fishies. Yeah, right, let's go. Look at this. Yelling up spa. It's so slippery in here and there's plenty of fish at your feet. Every now and again, the waves come in and knock you off. So this is awesome. Check it out, the boys coming in. <laughs> it's pretty fresh. <laughs> Not bad at 10.30 in the morning. Here we go. What do you reckon about this? Really fun. This is sick. The water always <laughs> comes on you. That's a lot of water fun. You just got a big wave to come in and push you off. Yep. That's the last thing I need. I'm already cold. Is it warm? It, somehow it's gotten warmer, <laughs> but also harder to stand up. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh, You're surrounded by these little um, I'm cliffs. getting washed off. All the rock formations here that are cool. You like it? Yes. Definitely worth a stop in here. Yes. Yeah. Come check out Canal Rocks. A nice little timber bridge over the water. That's six there. There's little crabs. I think out there is Smith's Beach. Alright, we're making our way down through a bit of the bush to the aquarium uh, near Yellingup. But we were told from a good source that you can park near the canal lookout, I think it is. Um, that's the easiest parking, but it's about a 10 minute walk with kids, but there's um, plenty of rocks and tree roots, so we'll give it a crack. It's a nice little walk through the bush down to the uh, beach, so let's go check it out. Uh, it was pretty good. It was um, really strong current, so you've got to be careful with the young kids. Um, but it was definitely worthwhile. There was um, a few fish floating around there. I uh, only had a mask, I didn't have the flippers and stuff, so I couldn't go too far against the current. But it was nice. It's only a oh, 10 or 15 minute walk from um, that lookout earlier, so not too bad. It's good for the kids to have a bit of a swim around. A bit of a different sort of beach, really shelly, so there's not much sand. Uh, but when you're down here, come check it out. Come in and check out swings and roundabouts.
Right, I guess where we are again, back at the Bustleton waterfront precinct. Kids having fun. Sandcastles and Harrison jumped in into the water for a bit of a dip. Is that good fun, boys? Yeah. yeah. I'm hiding something. All right. So we just left Swings and Roundabouts. We did a um, vineyard. That was probably our only vineyard for the region, but it was good, wasn't it? It was lovely. It was very busy for a Tuesday. Yeah, it was packed. Um, we only got gelati, so <laughs> we did it all out. Yeah. There's a nice big playground there, big lawns for the kids to play. So um, we were looking for a, a, a kid-friendly vineyard, and I reckon that's the one to do. Had nice big open grassy areas, bit of a ripping playground for the kids. There's cool swing chairs outside. They were cool, weren't they? Yeah. So okay. there's two of them. Yeah, Margaret there's River. there's one in Margaret River and there's one in Yelling Up. Yelling Up, and uh, Yelling Up is the one to go to if you've got the kids. So, as I said, we just got some gelati out the back, yeah. um, but it would have been nice to sit there and have a nice lunch with the kids. But <gasps> let's face it, our kids wouldn't sit there that long, so. Um, yeah, it's a good place to go if you're in this region. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon? Yeah, I just really love sitting here at the Bustleton Jetty. Just, yeah. It's such a beautiful, calm... I don't know what the climate is like all year round, but this short. is absolutely mint. I yeah. could probably live in Bustleton. Yeah, we love it. It's a nice little town. It's got everything you need. And um, the beach has been cool. We saw a couple of good things today. We went out to uh, the aquarium. Yes. We went out to the bridge at Canal, the Canal Bridge. Canal Bridge. Canal Rocks, the yep. bridge over there, and the um, natural spa. Um, yep. They were all really cool places. Lots of rock climbing. Um, so Alex did really well, but um, a little bit more difficult. I saw lots of fishies. We did. We saw a few fish, um, but it'd be good to have all your snorkeling gear at mm. uh, the aquarium at the very least. Yeah, and just be prepared to, to walk through the bush for a while. Yeah, plug it up. There. It's about a 10 minute, 15 minute walk with kids, I reckon, through the, the lookout, so. Yeah. All right, this is us for the afternoon. Just pulled up in Wellington Mill, which is about 40 minute drive from Bustleton. We're um, come to check out Gnomesville. Uh, so the kids are having a good hunt around and fossick around for all the different gnomes. There's thousands here, kind of cool. Um, I'll show you some footage in a sec. So this will be our last stop for Bustleton. Bustleton's been awesome. We've really enjoyed it. We've set up camp there for a, a long time. I've really um, had a good time there and so have the kids. So. Um, I'll show you around Gnomes Hill and then after that we are off to Perth for a little while and surrounding area so check it out and uh, hopefully enjoy Gnomes Hill. Oh, look at the magician and the um, crocodile and the bear, astronaut. <laughs> you having fun at Gnomes Hill? Yeah. yeah. Did you find a favourite one yet? Yeah, what was it? Uh, a Santa one. A Santa one. There's lots of Santa ones. Hey, do you reckon they come alive at night time? No. No? Don't you reckon they all have a chat and a party every night? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know how many gnomes there were. It was, I was, my head was blowing up. How many are there? Did you count them all? No, but the, I think there's a couple of thousand. Ah, oh, there'd be thousands here, I reckon. They're so cool. And even there's some superheroes over there. We found some superhero ones. Yeah, there's lots in here. Look at the golfer one. What? Just here. He's got his golf sticks. Oh, yeah. Look at the golf stick. 
So cool. I think there's more gnomes than the people in Perth.